thoại There, I didn't want to miss you. You're not asleep well, I heard. How'd you get up? Well, sometimes you don't, dear. Do Best get to work. I know, but do you, do you want to come to the hospital with me later? Only, um, you remember, don't you? I've got that hospital appointment to get my blood pressure checked. Please, I, I, I'd really like it if you could. Yes, yeah, boss. Thank you. Thank you. I, I do love you. I just can't help it when I think you don't love me and you put in other people first. I never do that. Well, this is a for instance, and, uh, and I don't want to make an argument out of it, but um, when, when you told Tommy you could have that holiday and he, he didn't have to pay us back whenever he likes. I and then I feel like you've got all these friends and then this is your house and Mimi and Baby were not important. Of course you are. You're the most important thing there is. Because I didn't sleep much either. I'm worrying about you and... Neither did Baby. I'm sorry. It's no good saying sorry to me. You have to say sorry to Baby. Sorry, kid. Because you worry, don't you? If you think me and your dad aren't happy. Are you happy? Really? Yeah, of course we are. I better get to work. Mm. I love you. I know I've been a bit distracted with moving and all that, but thanks for holding my throat, mate. I'll make it up to you when the baby comes. Yeah. Curse the old case, yeah. Why wouldn't you be? Suit yourself. Hey, mate. Hey. We got my phone last night. She's made up that me and Tina are going over there. Yeah? Well, with her being on her own with your granddad gone, no word of a lie, she's nearly in tears. Yeah, well, that's good. I just wanted to say thanks, you know. I mean, it was your idea. I probably should have thought of it yourself, like, but... I don't know when that would have happened. Okay, let's get on with it, shall we? Okay. Are you ready to go then? Hospital appointment. Yeah, sure. And I put you a present. Thanks. They couldn't believe it when I ordered two. <laughs> I told them one was the baby. <laughs> Oh, baby's gonna be disappointed. Sorry, kid. I'm having your cake. <laughs> That's okay, Dad. It was me that told Mum to buy you one. <laughs> Smart kid. He is. Oh, and um, how did Tommy take the news? What news? When you told him you cut him next week off. Oh right. You still want me to do that? Well, yeah. I mean, we need the money for the baby. Okay. Well, I thought you'd have done it by now. Oh, we're, we're not going to have this again, are we? No, no, I'll, I've just not had a chance, that's all. You've been with him all morning. And I'll tell him, honest. Right, well, you go and do that and I'll go to the hospital on my own. Me and Kirsty have been talking and I should have told you sooner, but what? You can't have next week off. Oh, you're joking. I'm sorry. But you said that. Yeah, and now I'm saying that you can't. Oh, yeah, you're saying. After I spoke with Kirsty, yeah. <laughs> and why should you? You still owe us that money. I've got to keep working, so should you. Hi. What? Lloyd just wants to know whether you serviced the cab yet. No, it'll be done tomorrow, like I said. All right, well, I don't know. No, but he did. What's he trying to do? Make out like I don't keep my promises? He knew it was tomorrow. Sorry! Well, it might not be now, because it's going right to the back of the queue. It'll be done when I decide. That could be, I don't know, next week. Oi, 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 oi! Oi, what side of the bed did you get out of? Well, I'm sick of it. Sick of what? Everything. Everybody just going on. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Eileen. Is that our usual standard of customer service? Well, no. Oi, you! So have you met Dory? Yeah. I went with Tommy to Jeff's funeral. We you know what funerals are like. Room, Hello. We're just talking about you. Yeah, well, you're not going to like this. What? We can't go away tonight. Hey, 
Tyrone said I can't have next week off. Uh, why not? He says I still owe him money, so I have to keep working. And he said he spoke to Kirsty about it. Oh. Yeah, I know. Well, you can see, can't you? She's made him say it to ruin things for us, and I've tried to be nice to her. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and she pretended to be nice to me back. Oh, well, she's had her holiday, but she won't let us have ours. Right, that's it. Where whoa, is she? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You won't find her. She's not there. So, what's that, Siron? <sighs> no, you won't. Not in the mood he's in. What mood? Well, he's just been walking around shouting at everyone. I've never seen him. I like don't it. care. He can't just tell you you can't have your holiday. Can he? Well, it does seem a bit mean. Yeah, well, she is. Mean it to come, and you can't trust a word that comes out of her mouth. So what? We, we just have to accept it. <sighs> oh, hey. Look, I don't want blood on my nice clean floor, so let's give him his drink. Then when you've got ten minutes, you can have a quiet word. I don't know how quiet it's going to be. Yeah, what can I get you? Right, better, please. Right, you. I want to know what you think gives you the right to talk to my mum like that. Well, I've only just walked in. Not now. This morning. When she asked you whether some car was ready? What was it, Lloyd? Some uh, cab that needed servicing? Yep. Yeah, right, so why'd you yell at her? So when? When she asked you about the car. I wasn't yelling. Look, Ty, if you want to yell at somebody, yell at me, all right? Not some middle-aged woman. Oh, charming. Are you serious? I'm not going to be fixed till next week. No, oh, I'm not. So why'd you say it, then? Because... I don't know, I'm sorry. Right? I'm sorry for what I said. I'm sorry about your car. I'm sorry about everything. Sorry for even existing. Thanks, Jason. Sure, right, don't worry. I'll have his pint. It's not the pint I'm worried about. Hey. All right. <sighs> Ty. Yeah. What do you want? What? What are the marks? What's happened? It's nothing. Ty. It's nothing to do with you. We're back in coronation. Did someone hit you? No. What do you want anyway? Did you get all those marks? It's none of your business. What do you want? Well, I, I did come round to ask why you won't give Tommy the time off, but I mean... Hello? I, I, um, Tina's just come because I told Tommy about next week and the payments and that. And you've come to argue about it, have you? No, you've not, have you, Tina? No, I'm not just... millionaires. We can't afford to say, oh, just pay us when you like. And she knows that, don't you? Um, I suppose I know. I do now, anyway. Well, good. Right, well, um, I'll be seeing you, yeah? I'll see you. And thanks. <laughs> what are you thanking her for? Just, you know, understanding the position we're in. Yeah, it's one of her stupid boyfriends put us in. Why has he sent her anyway? Can't he speak for himself? Yeah, of course he can. She just wanted us to know it was okay with her as well. You see? Wasn't such a terrible thing to ask, was it? Too soft. You know that. So, what happened? You talked to him? Well, not much. Kirsty turned up. Oh, no. No, it's okay. We said hello and then I left him to it. But you know what the really weird thing was? What? When I walked in before Kirsty arrived, Tyrone was by himself and he... Yeah. And... Sorry. One minute. <clears throat> Hi. Hey, thanks for going along with what I said to Kirsty earlier. It's okay. And the marks... Yeah? You won't say anything about them to anyone, will you? Why does it matter so much? Because I don't want people talking, making things up when they don't know what's really happened. Right, but if it was an accident, why not just tell him? Because... Are you working tonight? I should be, yeah. Right, I'll try and call in and we'll talk about it then. OK. Don't say a thing to anyone, especially Tommy. Uh, all right, I won't. I'll see you later. So, you walked in, Tyrone was still there. Oh, no, forget it. I was, I was thinking of something else. Hey, I've uh, finished the streetcar's job. Right. Ring them and tell them to stop moaning to me about it. Yeah, OK. Um, you know when Tina came in before? Yeah. Did she have a go at you about us having to cancel Blackpool? Not really, no. Why, what did she say? Not a lot. So, um, how long do you think it'll be before we can have an holiday? Look, we're not having that again. Just do what I told you, will ya? Hiya. 
You okay? Tired. Yeah, you will be. I was, was thinking about Tommy and Tina. Yeah? She just, just stood up to them in the first place instead of standing up to me on their behalf. I know. Because that's when things go wrong between us. Well, I feel like you're on their side and not mine. Well, it won't happen again. Because, all right, you might think of them as our friends, but, see, I don't. <laughs> so me, they're your friends. Got most of the folk around here. I'm sorry, I should have thought of that. Anyway, you'd be wanting your tea. No, no, you stay there. I'll have a wash and I'll put tea on. No, you're all right. Hey, are you arguing with me again? No. No, I'm not. Never again. Well, I hope not. <laughs> I might have to bob out later for a drink with Kevy. He wants to go over some business about the garage. Oh, yeah, you go ahead. I'll probably be asleep anyway. All right, won't be a minute. He's here, Tyrone. Oh, yeah, go on, take your break. Hiya. A pint, please. Stella said I could take my break so we can go and sit somewhere quiet. Can't we just forget about it? How do you mean? What you saw, right? something I'd rather not talk about. Forget about it? Yeah. No. No, sorry, it's hard. I can't forget about it. And I can't forget how scared you looked when she walked into the room. <laughs> Hi, Peter. Vodka and tonic, love, please. Right. Has Norris been in? Well, if he has, I haven't seen him. Mm. Then, Marks, they weren't caused by an accident, were they? Yes. Someone hit your tie. No. Well, I thought we had a deal. I won't say a word to anyone on the condition you tell me the truth. Somebody may have lost a temper and hit me, OK? Somebody being... You want me to guess? I swear, you better not tell Tommy. Yes, I know, and I've already proved that when I could have said something before and I didn't. It was Kirsty, yeah? She didn't mean it. But she did it. How did it happen? She... She hit me with the tube off the hoover. Plastic bit that goes on the end. But she didn't mean to. She knew what she was doing. She just couldn't stop herself. I made her get mad and uh, she lost it. It's like this sometimes. She's done this before? Never like that, no. What? But something like it? Yeah, when I was back before, it, it just puts me around or throw stuff. Well, 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 you, well, you are saying, aren't you? She regularly beats you up. No. Well, it, it sounds like it. I always knew she was a nut and she has just proved it. All oh, right. So now you're pleased, are Oh, you? of course I'm not, Ty. Anyway, she's not a nutty. It's not even her fault, it's mine. It's your fault she hits you. Yeah. Have you worked that out? Because I provoke her, don't I? And it's your fault. Yours and Tommy, all this business with the money and the holidays, that gets us rowing and that's how this happens. So, so it's, it's your fault and it's our fault, but it's not hers? I'm, I'm saying it's not just hers. All of ours. That's what makes this happen. Oh, no, there's Tommy. You said you wouldn't... Yes, OK. You just stay here. I'll sort it out. Hi. Oh, hey. yeah. How have you been? Uh, just talking to Ty. Oh, there you are. You've not been going on him, have you? Uh, no, I've been very nice, actually, which you think I can't be. Right, can you can be sometimes. Mm. Uh, no, I think he's a bit upset about the holiday business. I think you've got a bit falling out with him. Yeah, we haven't. You haven't all sort of been seen to him. So you get your pint and I'll sort it out, OK? Yeah. Okay. I'll have another one, love, please. Still no Norris? Oh, he must have forgot. He's got a lot on his mind. Do you? What if she keeps doing it? She won't. Ty! Things will change when she has the baby. Well, it might get worse. You would say that because you don't like her. Oh, yeah, right, there's no secret. But whoever it was, whether Kirsty was doing it to you or not, I still say you have to do something about it. 
what, like kick her out? Because I'm not gonna. I love her and she's having my baby. So don't tell me to kick her out because it's not gonna happen. Even though she. Even though she might do it again, yes. Even. anything. I still love her. And it's me that has to change. It's me that has to stop provoking her. And then we'll be fine. And now you know, which I didn't want you to, I didn't want anyone to. Remember what you promised. You won't tell anybody. Yes, I won't. Especially Tommy. Right. Won't breathe a word. Listen tight. If you ever want to talk. Why about... would I want to do that? I don't know. I do. This is for me and Kirsty to sort out. Nobody else. I'll put up, I've got to go. See you, Tommy. Yeah, see you, mate. I better know what that was about. You do? Hmm. Probably Kirsty saying, never mind holidays, what about our repayments? <laughs> You're dead clever, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, well, could have been a psychiatrist if I stayed on at school. Mm. Would have been useful if you had. Hey. Okay. You know what I mean? You okay? I'm going to ask you something. I want you to tell me the truth. Of course not. Promise? I promise. What is it? You've been speaking to Kevin. Well, you said you've been speaking to Kevin. Yeah, you? just now. Yeah. Did you tell him anything? Uh, about us, about last night? No. And that's the truth? That is the God's honest truth. I swear, I've I not talked to I couldn't stand it, you know. I couldn't stand it, anybody knowing. I just couldn't. What? Not even a doctor? Because you said... Well, maybe a, a doctor, yeah, that's... It's different. But no one else. Because, you know, you just tell one person, it doesn't matter that they promise they won't tell anyone, they will, and then and everyone will know, and I just, I can't I, I stand that. I haven't told that. Kevin anything. Thanks. <laughs> well, uh, I think I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. Night. Night, love. Ah, what? Not there. Maybe you should go and see a doctor. I mean, you did say... It's hard. No. I know it is. I've been thinking it for a while. Have you? Yeah. And no one would find out because that's what doctors are for. I could come with you if you like. Oh, no, there's no need for that. Just, you'll probably just refer me. To who? I don't know. A psychiatrist? You'd probably daft. I'm not ill. I know. You're pregnant and working really hard. I could do more to help. You're just frustrated. I'm sure it's really common, this kind of thing. Yeah. Maybe. So is that what you're going to try and do? What kind of appointment? Who? Town has sent three emails since eight o'clock this morning. Shall I lie in the sunshine on my yacht? Not their yacht. <laughs> <laughs> or shall I wake up in the middle of the night and start pinging off emails to a knicker factory back in Weatherfield? I'm getting the feeling she doesn't trust me. Well, she's not stupid, is she? No, she isn't. She left me in charge. Yeah, four emails yesterday. Six the day before. Listen to this one she sent from Sunday morning. Print them off. Let's take them down the pub and have a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Hi, love. I know it's short notice, but I was wondering if I could have half an hour off this afternoon. What for? To see the doctor. What time? Well, then we can fit me in. What's up with you? Rob! Yes, of course you can have the time off. Thanks. I was making conversation. Yeah. Right, well, I said I'd meet Ryan at the calf. Do you want anything fetching? The doctor's. It's you that needs your head testing, Ty, not her. I've told you the score. I'm as much to blame for this Just as she is. Just because you keep saying it, that doesn't make it true. Just keep it quiet, will you? <laughs> it's got this toy, like, Pam bought him. It's basically like this ball with, like, a ferret attached to it. Not a real one. Obviously not a real one, no. 
Briggs guy goes on the floor in all these mad directions. He's absolutely terrified of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, the second they switch on, he's like, he's screaming, trying to get out of the room and all sorts. <laughs> hey, you should film that, put it on YouTube. Hey? Well, film it on your phone and then just upload it. Well, why? Because it'd be funny. Everything all right? You just sneaking around behind me back? No. Well, you know, working here. Gotta be careful, eh? Hey, knock it off. So what you want? Nothing. It's just small talk. All right. We'll have to take your word for that, then, will I? What do you use to get the oil out of Tyrone's overalls? Kirsty. What do you use to get the grease and grime out of Tyrone's overalls? I, I don't know. Oh, and there's an article in here about the most hard-working washing powders. Some I've never really thought about. Oh, hang on. Hello. Oh, all right. I'll send her in now, Dr Carter. Bye. Right, Dr Carter will see you now. I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to cancel. What? I'm just not feeling well. Well, I thought that was why you were here. Um, I'm really sorry. Why would I want to watch a panda sneezing? Well, have you ever seen You've Been Framed? Yeah. And did you find it funny? I'll catch up. How did it go? Yeah, fine. What did he say? He wasn't in there very long. Uh, he said to go back after the baby's born. If there's still a problem, in which case he'll refer me. Well, and that was it? Well, he said it was hormonal. And the baby arrived since it changed. Oh, well, there you go. That's exactly what we thought. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, jobs are good, in. Isn't it? Yeah. Of course it is. Well, I feel completely reassured now. It's just normal pregnancy stuff. And you've spoke to someone about it. And that takes guts. Don't take kid away. Mummy's very brave. <laughs> Hormones. Is that it? Oh, so you're a doctor now. Did you tell them the full story, eh? The details? When the baby arrives, it'll go away. So says Dr. Carter, and so says me. So we just need to sit back and wait till she belts you again, then, yeah? Well, she won't. These people aren't in the real world, Ty. That's the problem with these doctors. Fifteen years at college, and they get a nice little cushy job at the end of it. Chicken pox and a sprained ankle is your man. When it comes to a woman knocking lumps out of a boyfriend... You keep your voice down. She's not knocking lumps out of it. She's pregnant, and she loses the tempo. That's it. Hi, Tina. Hi. Have you seen Eileen? I'm supposed to meet her at two. Well, well, will she be back at work by now? No, she's got a day off. Deirdre, love, she said, um, can you go around ours? She's doing a load of ironing or something. Oh, right home. Hey, how's Kirsty? What? Well, I just wondered if she was OK. She was in the medical centre earlier. Should you be asking that? What did he say? Who? Dr Carr. Thought everything was confidential over there. Well, it is. Uh, OK. Maybe it's none of my business, but she cancelled her appointment just before she was due to go in. She did what? I just wondered if she was OK. Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, he's right. You should definitely put it on no, the internet. I've got to go. Why? Call an HR on comforts required. Was she just leaving me with these two? Oh! Well, I might as well throw one down me. Uh, large red wine, please, when you have a minute, love. So, tell me again what Dr Carter said. I told you what Dr Carter said. He said my temper would improve once the baby arrives. Did he, though? What? You never went to see him. Can we talk about this later? Did you? How do you know? You said you would do something about it. Let me just peg this out. Leave that, will you? I'll do it later. Why don't you go and see the doctor? Because I'm ashamed. Why do you think I didn't go see the doctor? Put yourself in my shoes. I've tried. But then I can't imagine attacking somebody that I love. Nor can I. Nor can I imagine it when I try and imagine it. I feel sick. I can't imagine it. I just do it. I... I'm so confused. But that's why you need to talk to somebody about it. I didn't know what he'd say. I didn't want him telling me I'm mad or I need locking up or I'm a danger to the baby. Hey. He won't say those things. I'm scared, all right? So I said I'd do that. I'm doing it. It's fine. Tara, please just let me do it. Go back in, will you? I can peg a bit of washing out. Please. Don't be like this with me. We, we need to keep talking. I don't want to talk. Fine. I'm going back to work.
Are you still here? Something's more important than work. I thought we was getting back on track. We are. I uh, defrosted them fish cakes for tea. You do this all the time. You change the subject, act like there's not a problem while there is. We need help. We can't get through this on our own. Have you been crying? No. <laughs> I have. <laughs> You've been out here ages. Will you really let me down? No, I did, but... You shouldn't have been checking up on me. Beg your pardon? If we're going to get through this, we need to trust each other first. And you've proved I can't trust you. You said you'd go to the doctors and you lied about it. I know, but... How can I trust you when you're breathing down my neck? I'm not breathing down your neck. It's not easy being pregnant. Yeah, but it's not easy being hit time and time again by a woman, is it? You care more about your own embarrassment than you do about that. You care more about the way it looks, the way it sounds. You don't care about me at all. Of course I do. I love you. Do you? Well, you've got a funny way of showing it. No wonder I'm losing my patience. Tyrone, please, don't... Get off. Please, we need to keep... I should knock you across the yard. See how you like it, eh? You're scaring me. Well, I'm going back to work. No, you go... Ah! Are you all right? Alone. You're bleeding. Are you okay? I fell over. You need to see a doctor. I'm fine, I just slipped. It, it was an accident. I could make sure you get seen straight away. Uh, I don't want any fuss. I'll take you to the medical you centre. You need to go back to work. I need to look after you. Oh, it's just a bump. Trust me, I've had much worse. Uh, let's not fight in front of Deirdre. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll see if Dr. Carter's got any appointments free this afternoon. He can come over and see you here. Please, for me. OK. Let's get you in now. <sighs> Hello, yeah, it, uh, it's Deirdre. Can I get you a brew? Um, we've got Jaffa cakes or chocolate digestive. I'm fine, thanks. Any headaches? Feeling dizzy? I feel fine. Well, your blood pressure's OK and your baby's heartbeat's good and strong. I'd say you live. I'm sorry to waste your time. Hey, Again. Never a waste of time. But I should get back. I'll see you out. Thank you. See ya. Well, that's good news anyway. Yeah. Listen, love, if, um, if ever you need to talk... Talk about what? Well, relationships are never oh. easy, are they? What do you mean? I heard you arguing in the backyard. Now, I, I, I don't know what it was about, but... I, I do know, know that things can get out of hand for? sometimes. See, there you it go. was an accident. Honestly. I slipped and fell. All right, bye. OK, well, like I said, if ever you want to talk. Oh, Kev, honestly. He'd lose his head if it wasn't bolted on. <laughs> He's a nice guy, isn't he, Dot's car? Gonna get your brew? No, thanks. I'd best be off. Thanks again. And will you thank the doctor again? Mm. Cheers. I'm really not hungry. But you like fish cakes. I know, I'm sorry. You gotta eat something. I'm okay, I'm sorry. I've, I've had a shock and I've lost my appetite. I feel terrible about that. If you think what could have happened. Yeah, well, now you know how easy it is. Excuse me. I know you didn't mean it, but I still ended up on the floor with blood on my face. Hang on, that was an accident. I know. No! You're saying it's like when you go for me? Same result. No, it's not the same at all. I never meant to hurt you. It's not what Deirdre thinks. What? She heard us arguing over the wall, then bang, I'm on the floor. She thinks you're knocking me about. No. I told her she was wrong. She could have been more wrong. I told her. Well, I hope so. And if you... If you think what happened today is anything like what you do to me, or that I meant to hurt you in any way, shape... I don't. I don't think that. I know, OK? It was because it was me ended up with the bruises. I know I'm still the bad guy. How did we get here, eh? I didn't say it was the same. I was just hoping you might understand a bit better, that's all. 
I understand we're having a baby really soon and we should be happy. But we're not, are we? I don't think I know how to be happy. And that is why you need help. It'll be different once the baby's here. You keep saying that and I want to believe you, but what if it isn't? What do you mean? What if it's not the hormones? What if it's something more serious? You think I'm proud of this? You think I'm doing it on purpose? No. But, but, but if it keeps happening when the baby arrives, you get so angry with me. What if you get angry with the baby? Do you think I'd hurt our baby? No, but right now I feel like I'd have to be there 24-7 just in case. How can you even think that? Because I didn't think you'd hit me. But you do. Why do you stay with me? Because I love you. How? How can you love me? Because I know you don't mean it. I know you can't control it. I will. I'll get help. I'll do anything. Yeah. I just want to have a normal life. Me too. More than anything else in the world. We can if you just get help. I will. I'll, I'll see the doctor cross my heart and hope to die. And you'll be happy. I'll make you happy. You, me and the baby will be the happiest family on the whole street. I do love you, you know. Are you hungry now? No. A bit tired, though. Really? Been a busy day. <laughs> Say that again. I tell you what. Why don't we do something really normal? Why don't I have a lie down and you go for a pint with your mates? That's normal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's it's really normal, but I don't know. Are you sure you'll be okay? I don't need babysitting. Okay. Maybe I could get you some chips, you might be hungry later. Sounds good. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh, no. Are you sure you'll be all right? You're a very special man, Tara Dobbs. Oh, no, all right. You get some rest. And you and me, we're going to be OK. Of course we are. Pregnancy symptoms. You are. Yeah, like mood swings and that. He's been all over the place recently. He's nervous. His baby's due in a day. Oh, hello. <laughs> Someone sounds a bit broody. You don't know what it's like. Kids change your life. Yeah, well, I could have guessed that. Ah, you might think you're prepared for it, but trust me, you have no idea. So tell me. I don't know. Just makes sense of everything, gives you a focus, you know, something so special, so precious. You ask anyone, and I bet they tell you that having kids was the best thing they ever did. Good deal. Business with the doctor. All sorted. What did she say? Why didn't she go and why did she lie about it? We talked it through and it's all okay. I really think we're making progress. No, you can't talk to me any time, Ty. I know. Thank you. Ah, hello again. How is she? She's fine, Ty. Who's fine? Uh, Kirsty, she had a bit of a fall in It back. was an accident, she's fine. Yeah, even so, I'm surprised to see you in here. It was her idea, she's having to lie down. Yeah, but, I mean, if I was eight months pregnant... I popped out for an hour, that's all. No dramas. It's what we do, we're normal. Yeah, OK, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Shouldn't have had a go at you like that. You're right, I shouldn't be here. I'm going. Something all right, that. Why not? But, why not? There's a, m a million reasons why not. See, you change our lives. So you want a baby? Well, you'd actually have to have the baby. Oh, OK, so I do all the hard work. <laughs> What's your contribution? I'd be the dad. Look, Kevin said it was the best thing he ever did. Well, I am I'm very pleased with Kevin. <laughs> I don't know, look, there's, there's loads of things I want to do first. OK. Ask me again in five years. No. Seven. All right, no. I get the message. Look, you'll be the first to know when my biological clock starts ticking, OK? Hey, you two missed a treat tonight. Really? Yes, my hugely talented son played at Nelson's. Oh. I know I'm biased, but honestly, when he started, 
it was all like noise, you know, mm. talking, drinking, all that. By the time I finished, you could hear a pin drop. Oh. Oh, so they didn't like it then? Uh, loudest applause of the night, thank you, Tommy. Did I introduce my agent? Yeah, and he got offered to join three different bands as well. I am telling you, I saw something special tonight. Oh, well done. Um, bottle lager, a white wine and whatever you two are having, please. Cheers. Put, put that away, I'll get these. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. and he got paid 25 quid. That's all right, isn't it? Mm. Um, have you seen Lloyd at all? Uh, yeah, he's at the back. I not believe the queue at the chipper, and <laughs> when I finally get to the front of it, they run out of cup. What are you doing? The taxi's late. I was hoping to be gone before you got back. Sorry, I... I, uh, I wrote you a note. What are you talking about? Just read the note. I don't want to read the note. Just talk to it me. It won't change anything. I thought I was making progress. I have to get out of no. it. No! We are bad for each other. And if I stay... It's only going to get worse, and I don't want that to happen. It's best I go. Now. No, I said no! Don't look at me like that. I won't let you go. You can't stop me. Yes, I can. You want more violence? I love you. And a mess. You're the only person who knows what I'm really like. I, I, I don't know why you put up with me. I'm out of control. That's why you need help. I'm beyond help. If I stay, I will lose it, and I will hurt you again, and that hurts me, and I can't bear to be like this. And I can't do anything about it if you were out. I need to concentrate on the baby. It's our baby. That's why we need to be together. It's being together's the problem. I can see that now, and it's not your fault, it's mine. You deserve so much better than me. I don't want anybody else. I want you. I can help. I don't think anyone can help me. At least if I'm on my own, we stand a chance. Please don't leave me. I'm sorry. I'll do anything, please. I'll sleep downstairs. I'll stay out of your way. I'll do anything. I have made so many promises to you. And I've broken them all. You should have kicked me out ages ago. I would never do that. I know. And that's why I have to leave you. That's my cab. Where are you going to go? It doesn't matter. Look at me. You know I'm right. Come here. Please. You can't leave me. I don't think I will ever love anyone the way I love you. God bless. Please. Please. Kirsty, it's me again. I'm not going to give up. On you, or the baby. I'm sorry if... I'm just sorry. I need you. And I love you. And we can sort this out, please. If you, if you just come back, please. We... I'm begging you. I've got a delivery for you, pal. I'm not the only one by the look. This is Nine Coronation Street. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You look shattered, mate. Hi. Cheers now. Hi. How are you, Deirdre? Uh, I'm sorry about yesterday and the pub was a bit on edge. It's OK. You're bound to be stressed with the due day coming up. Um, how is Kirsty? She's fine. Just putting a few up today. Oh. Don't blame her. You just be sure you make a fuss of her, right? Will do. All right, mate. How's the missus? We're not married. It's only a turn of phrase. OK, is she? Only she never came back to work after seeing the quack. Yeah, she's... She's still not herself. She won't be in today. She needs time to get herself right. I'm sorry to hear that. Give her our best, will you? So uh, when will she be back? Only we're really up against it with this order. 
do a lot like a flaming doctor. All I know is she's eight months pregnant and sick. So packing knickers into a box isn't exactly top priority right now. Got it? Peel this, or do I unpeel it? What? Well, you know, it, like, do, do you unpeel something, or do you, do you peel something? I don't know. Both. Hmm. Suppose it's like that old, um, is something flammable or inflammable? I mean, same thing. What's going on there? Do you think, even if I was interested, which I'm really, really not, I'd be the bloke to ask? I'm just asking your opinion. You all right? I'm fine. I'm just fed up listening to your rubbish all day. Take it you've not brought it in for a valet? No. I started playing up on the dual carriageway. It's a miracle I got back, to be honest. Is there a chance you can have a look at this morning tight? I really need it back on the road, mate. Yeah. Here's the keys. Cheers, mate. I am Mrs. Soames. Siron Kirsty's partner. I I'm just wondering if you've seen her today. No, no, everything's fine. Just trying to get hold of her. Right, well, have you got any numbers for any of her mates? No, honestly, everything is fine. Well, if you see her today, will you get her to call me? Cheers, bye. Oi, steady. You don't want to be pulling dicks out with us as well. I'm going for my dinner. Dinner? You can't just... What the flaming hell's the matter with you? Tied on! It wasn't booked in. We didn't have the keys and we've been a man down. Tyrone had the keys. He was going to look at it. Oh, well, that explains it then. Oh, yeah. Take it up with him. Ty, why haven't you looked at my van? I had something to do. I had something to do? And what am I supposed to do? This van's my livelihood. I'm absolutely stuffed without it. How am I going to move my stock? How am I going to make a living? I'll look at it in a bit. Well, no way, mate. You're looking at it now. Don't you think you've got better things to worry about than your poxy little yeah, van? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, no. Come hey. on. Hey, big man, calm down, will you? Yeah, you're okay. Look. We'll sort your van, but if I was you, I'd get yourself home. It's all right, it's okay. No, it's not flaming all right. What's got into you lately, eh? You can't go attacking the punters. Right, just back off, will ya? Tina, he's out of order. I'd just leave him alone, okay? I'm going up. Oh, That's the most sensible thing I've heard you say all day. Ty! I've made you a brew. Look, why don't you leave that for a minute? No, once you start these things, you've got to see them through. I thought Kirsty was at home today. Pass me that Alan key, will you? Ty, talk to me. What's going on? What was that about over the road? She's gone. Gone? Yeah, left scarpered, warts out. You know, the usual. Ty. I think I'd learn after last time with Molly, wouldn't you? But no. Still too thick to see it coming. Take it in. All night I was hoping to hear a key in the door. Even this morning, when this thing arrived, I thought, here we go. Do you know where she is? Do you think I'd be assembling furniture if I did? I've spoke to her ma'am. She's not heard from her either. She could be anywhere. Because she'd rather be anywhere. And who can blame her? This ain't down to you, Ty. Isn't it? First Molly, and now Kirsty. Lightning done strike twice, not without a reason, and you're looking at well, it. Look, you, you're a good man. Let down by people who didn't deserve you, Ty. Kirsty didn't deserve me. She was out of my league in every way. I couldn't believe we was together. She was beautiful, clever, yeah, funny. A control freak, a bully. She snapped like that. Look, I know you might not think it now, but in the long run, it's the, probably the best thing. How can you say that? I loved her. I loved our future we had together. And now that's all gone. I've lost... I've lost my child. Again. And you think that's good news? No, I wasn't saying that. Well, I know what you want. You want to shut of her from the off, haven't you? Well, now you've got your way. It'll be drinks all round tonight, won't it? Hi, listen I don't to want to hear it. Just get out, will you? Just go. <sighs> Just get out. You're joking, aren't you? No, I didn't think it was. I thought I was being neighbourly. Well, you know what? You picked the wrong neighbour on the wrong day. 
Sounds like it. Sarah, not here? No, I'm not signing him yet. So you're not going to go across the road and see if he's all right? He's a boss. He can come anywhere he likes. Oh, that's so pathetic. He might not want to speak to you. Tina! I need it. I can't work without it. Yeah, well, look. I'm up to my neck here. No, but I'm not going to ask Tyrone again, am I? That madman. Yeah, OK. And then the market stall manager's been on it now. Why aren't I opening up the stall? All right. Let's have a look at it. I'll see what I can do. Nice one. Yeah, I know. Look, I'm, I'm sorry for what I said. I know I shouldn't have. Can't you just leave me alone? Uh, no, I can't, actually. So I'm going to come in. Can I stop you? Cheers. Well, I am sorry for the things I said. OK? What I meant to say was look on the bright side. What, like my whole life's falling to bits, but at least I won't have any more bruises? Yeah. It wasn't very clever, I know. I've told anyone else about leaving. I didn't think you want me to. The thing is, I'd, I'd rather wrap those bruises than lose her in the paper. She might come back. No, she won't. Even if she wanted to, she's too proud. What are you going to do? There's nothing I can do. Won't be her. You don't know that, Ty. She has a key. Like she might have lost a key. Yeah, or she might have thrown it away. Look, at least go and check. I don't want to talk to anyone. Fine. I will. Uh, Tyrone's on the phone. Oh, um, right, it's just Mr. Donovan was asking if Kirsty would be coming back to work. Not today, she won't be, no. Oh, well, well, she... I don't know what she's doing yet, but I'll let her know you've been asking. All right, oh. Hayley, thank you. Bye. OK. That was Hayley. She wanted to find yeah, out No, when... I heard. And you know what? I want to tell him. Tell him what? Not everything. Only me and you know that. I'm going to tell him she's gone. But, OK, Ty, what if she comes back? She's not going to. Ty, you don't know that. Well, what if I don't tell him? People will think she's having the baby and then there'll be a queue outside the door. People will be on the phone saying, has she had it yet, Ty? Is it a boy or is it a girl? I can't have that. It'll drive me mad. Well, it'll cost more support, right, than it would ever be worth. Well, can't you just patch it up? Well, your big end's gone. Your gearbox needs replacing, your exhaust is shot, your tyres are illegal. Right, you lot, listen up. Look, that's American. I don't want to sound American. Don't listen up. Just listen to me. Well, are you all right? No, he's not. Yes, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with You're me. upset, Ty. He's always upset him. Yeah, I've just told him his van's knackered. Is it? Well, get it out of the way there, Peter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop going on about vans and just listen up. Make him go on. How can I? Kirsty has left me, right? She's gone and she's not coming back. Got that? And you can tell your boss, right? In fact, tell them all. Let them all know. You said this was a load of rubbish not worth doing anything with. Yeah, I know I did. So what's it still doing here, making the place look like a scrapyard? I'm not told, Chairs, and it has shifted. it. When, though? I know what you're thinking. I'm only saying this because Kirsty could gone. Well, yeah, maybe I am. But it's still the truth. We need to get rid of all this scrap and make room for proper customers. Where is he, Chesney? Have we got a number for him? There'll be one in the job book, yeah? Right. So you don't want any jeweler? No, thank you, Kirky. I'm watching my figure. Hey, and Kirky, have a word with Tina. Find out if she's moved in with Tyrone. No, no. Well, she was there this morning. We know that. Two packets of plain crisp, Tina, please. Okay. One pound ten, please, Kirk. Well, can I ask you something? Yeah, what about? Oh, one minute. Hi, babe. How's yeah. Tyrone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's uh, walking around shouting at everyone. Oh, I feel so sorry for him. No, me too. Wait, one sec. Sorry, what are you saying? Oh, it's okay. You've you kind of answered me already. You and him between you. You must be one heck of a driver, you. Me? We promised Osborne's they'd have that order by two o'clock, and here you are, an hour to go. You still haven't set off. Well, I'll just eat these and I'll get going. Don't let me spoil your lunch. Did you ask her? Didn't have to. You could see she's still with Tommy. Hmm. She could be two timing in. No, she could not. Well done, Kirky. You are a shrewd observer of human nature. Two timing him, yeah. I haven't thought of that. No, I. Cheers, Stan. Hey, look, what are you doing? 
tidying up this place, it's not a junkyard, you know. Yeah, but that's my van. No, that's your for junk. You should be happy we're not charging you. Hey, wait, hang on. You didn't have to do that. I know I didn't have to. I wanted to. Because from now on, I only do what I want to do, Kev. Forget everybody else. And right now, I've had enough of this. Come for my dinner. Thought you might want one. No, Ta. Huh? If you're gonna lash out at people, it might as well be on a full stomach as an empty one. To work then. Not in the mood. Look, you shouldn't have had Chesney's van sold. It was a write-off. Yeah, he's still his van. His decision to make, not yours. Is the kid, Ty. Never used to lose my rag like this. You worried about Kirsty and the baby. Of course you are. Why is everything so complicated? All I want was a family of my own. I don't know what to do. It's like I'm not in control of my own life anymore. Well, there's only one thing to do. You fight for this baby. You get in touch with the police, social services, a solicitor. You do whatever it takes, but you fight. Yeah, you're right. It's time to stop being such a flaming pushover. <laughs> 